for a man of your years, you're looking pretty good, Jack. Well, all that stuff they pumped into me has to be good for something. The Soldier Enhancement Program was America's response to the Omnic Crisis. But what exactly happened in the program? What were the side effects of the treatment? And why are Soldier 76 and Reaper the only two super soldiers left? These are your streets! Any ball! The Soldier Enhancement Program remains a heavily classified operation, but some details have been revealed. First of all, it wasn't offered to everybody. Only the very best soldiers were chosen by the military brass and offered a position in the program. Then those inducted would be shaped by military scientists into the perfect soldiers, blessed with superhuman speed, strength and agility. The existence of the program and what actually happened to the soldiers was officially top secret, but its existence was unofficially widely acknowledged, presumably as a means of keeping the public calm during the Omnic Crisis, by knowing that they had super soldiers fighting for them. A similar situation to Marvel's Captain America in World War II, an interesting connection that we will return to later. For now, we know of two soldiers that were inducted into the program. Jack Morrison, now known as Soldier 76, and Gabriel Reyes, now known as Reaper. However, it's heavily implied in the game's lore that there were many soldiers inducted into the program, and that would certainly make sense. Ideally, you would want an army of super soldiers, not just one or two. We are justice. So that raises the first question, where are the other super soldiers now? Did they all die in the war with the Omnics? Even if that was the case, it seems unlikely the military would just stop the program. Surely they would just continue to make more soldiers. The crisis might be over, but war, terrorism and crime remain major issues in the game's universe. So what could cause the program to be shut down? Could there have been a problem with the treatment? What about if it had some unforeseen side effects? Let's be honest, if you're injecting men and women with a series of chemicals to turn them into super soldiers, it would be pretty surprising if everyone reacted the same way and became the perfect soldier. But how bad would the side effects have to be to abandon the project? I can't see the military shutting down the program for a nasty rash or migraine. Could it have been killing the soldiers, and Morrison and Reyes were the only two lucky enough to survive? But if that's the case, it seems quite possible the treatment came with a cost. It's been two decades since Reyes and Morrison went through the program, and look at them now. Morrison is hell-bent on fighting a never-ending war, seemingly unable to let go or rest. And Reyes, well, he's an international assassin with incredible powers. Could Reyes have developed the powers that make him Reaper thanks to a side effect from the Super Soldier program? Perhaps they slowly manifested over the years. There are some recent developments in the game's lore that could potentially support this. First, we know that Reyes recruited Moira into Blackwatch secretly, as he wanted someone who could help advise him on matters of genetics that he was interested in. I assumed when first learning this that it was his idea for her to give him the Reaper powers, but what about if they had already manifested, and perhaps Moira was recruited to help cure him, or more likely, to help him exert control over the powers. Secondly, we also found out more about Reyes and Morrison's relationship. It was widely assumed that the two men hated each other because when they brought an end to the Omnic Crisis, it was Morrison who was put in charge of Overwatch rather than Reyes, but Jeff Kaplan recently revealed that this isn't the case at all. The two soldiers were best buddies for a long time following the crisis, and in many ways Reyes was relieved that Morrison took the top job, as it was easier for him to be the number two and not have the same responsibility. But as a result, Morrison would constantly defend Reyes' more questionable actions, and this would eventually lead to the downfall of their relationship and Overwatch. But it's the idea of Morrison protecting Reyes that really stands out for me. Could he have known what Reyes was going through, that he was suffering as a result of the experiments? Could he even have known about Moira's employment? Perhaps he felt guilty, having come out of the Soldier Enhancement program relatively unscathed. And this brings me back to the Captain America analogy. Think of Morrison as Cap, he's the poster boy of the military, the all-American hero. The Soldier Enhancement program turned Jack Morrison into their very own Captain America, but Reyes, he didn't get off so lightly. 
In Marvel Comics, the attempted reproduction of the Super Soldier Serum has led to some disastrous effects. Soldiers going insane and dying, and then in the movie universe, the Red Skull's appearance and powers were as a result of a Super Soldier Serum. You don't have one of those, do you? Could that have been the inspiration for Reaper and Soldier 76's story? One man became Captain America, while the other became the Red Skull. Rivals both similar and yet so different. Two sides of the same coin. It's an interesting take on the story, and Jeff Kaplan has promised that we'll be learning more about the two men and delving deeper into their background and relationship, which is something I'm super excited to see. What do you think about this theory? Could this be where Reaper's powers came from, and where are the other soldiers? Did they all die, or have they just not been mentioned in the game's lore yet? Are there any other fan theories you'd like us to take a look at? Let me know in the comments below. As always, this is James for Curse, saying thanks for watching, and enjoy the game.